Wanna slide down there again? Don't you mean up there again, Mindy? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, enough of that. We already made it out. Why would we want to do that? I'll reward you. Then duty calls. <laughs> Patrick said duty. Excellent. Slide through there faster than the allotted time, and I'll reward you. Okay, so immature jokes aside, yes, we have two, mi two and a half minutes to get to the end of this level. But as I said before, the way this level is structured, once everything is open, uh, this becomes the shortest Spongebob level in the entire game. And also the shortest paddy wagon, well, shortest between the paddy wagon and Spongebob levels as well. I don't know what the, sh what the shortest paddy wagon level of the game is, I'll probably flash on screen here, but um, I'm pretty much just using the time trials as a reference to figure that out, but yeah. So, at any rate, um, basically, your path is actually going to be really, really quick. Like, being this level is going to be really, really quick once everything is open. In fact, uh, this should actually get us past the uh, Macho Time Challenge. The Macho Time Challenge is a minute and 50 seconds. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. So, if you can't do this in under two minutes, then you're going to struggle quite a bit on the Macho Time Challenge. But I'm going to show you the quickest path you can possibly take right here. Um, at least I think this is the quickest. Is this? This is not the quickest, I don't think this is. I, I probably just failed the, yeah. I probably would have failed the Macho Time Challenge by now, I think. Is this? I don't know. No, you're supposed to be on the pink hose. Yeah, the pink hose is the one that takes you to the end. Okay, okay, I, I'll keep that in mind for the next mission, but I think we should still be able to get this. So there you go. Once again, despite arm for the win. <laughs> Jeez. How did they get away with that in a kid's game? No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure they weren't. I'm, I'm assuming they weren't expecting kids to actually try to look around, you know, try to, you know, figure out if, they're, if that arm was attached to a body or not. But either way, it's just really creepy as all heck. Okay. So yeah, I can tell you right off the bat, we would have failed the uh, Monster Time Challenge right here. Because you should have at least uh, 20 seconds left before he gets this, before he gets to this, uh, at least onto this hose in order to beat the Monster Time Challenge. Wow, faster than expected. Here's your reward. You're probably wondering how short is the ring challenge gonna be? Well, we're about to find out. Are you up for another challenge? I think we've jumped through enough hoops for you, Mindy. Bye, I then how about jumping through rings instead? For some reason, this is actually my favorite line of minis in the entire game. I have no idea why, I'm just saying, I just think that's... I think that was a really good comeback of Mindy right there. Alright! Uh, Mindy? Are you gonna speak? Okay, apparently not. Great, jump through the rings up here as you slide. You have a limited time to get through each ring. Get through every ring and I'll give you a reward. Just, just try to imagine that I had a Mindy voice there. There you go. Okay, but yeah, seriously, this is the shortest ring challenge in the game with 46 rings. Actually, uh, I don't know about shortest ring challenge. I'd have to, I'd have to look that up because uh, let's just say that the ring challenges that are present in uh, SpongeBob and Paddy Wagon levels are, are not the only ring challenges in the entire game. But this ring challenge contains 46 rings that you have to go through. And uh, they do not take you through the shortest path, at least I don't think so. But they do take you through a fairly short path to the end here, so. But one thing that's different about these rings is that they actually move. Yes, these actually, these rings will move vertically up and down to, I guess, it's sort of at some challenge. So I think there's, yeah, there's also some that move horizontally as well, so. Be prepared to deal with stuff like that as you do this one. Um, I guess the ring challenge is going to be uh, short either way, then they, I guess they figured they have to add some some form challenge to it. So yeah, just staying on the pink uh, post is all you have to do in order to get the Macho Time challenge there. Um, but yeah, this, this is the path that I took, actually. Weird. Okay. Now, uh, they're going to make you do a very, very crazy jump right here, but it's not that bad to make. And then it will finally lead you to the end. So there you go. So that's pretty much the ring challenge for you, Google Eyes and Smelly Knickknacks, so there you go. So this is what we're getting, y'all, instead of the uh, big, you know, sea creature uprising that we got in the actual movie against the Cyclops, but oh well, not that big of a deal. So I think I'll go ahead and throw in the Macho Time Challenge, it's going to be really short, you know, at least in this episode. Might even throw the next level in, because guess what, the next level is a boss level. 
spoiler alert. Apologies that was spoilers, but there you go. There's the end of the ring challenge right there. I guess practice makes perfect. You've earned this. Why, thank you, Mindy. Let's see how many Goofy Goober tokens is that? Come to prove you're a manly man. If not, we're gonna get sand kicked in our face at the beach. And towels shoved in our mouths. Yeah. Well, don't worry. If you beat the manly time down the slide, you'll be the manliest man on the beach. Except for... <laughs> okay, okay, I guess that's also a really good line. There's also the lines that Mindy said in the beginning of Bubble Boy Baby Hunt where she was... You know, talk, telling you about your uh, move, your extra so special move, and I already failed this, so I'm going to go ahead and warp back here, actually, because I can definitely tell you, tell you right now, I already would have failed that mission right now. Right now? Okay, let's try that again. I have to take every single shortcut there possibly is in order to get this Macho Time Challenge, so this is the first shortcut I have to take, is jumping melee onto this one. So, yeah, there's a lot of crazy jumps you have to do in order to make, make this time challenge because, again, it's a very short one, but don't worry, I'm sure we'll get it. I'm very sure we'll get it. Faster, faster. Uh, Patrick, there's no way to go faster. In fact, we shouldn't be going any faster than... Like, we should be... Like, this this slide should be impossible, actually, because they're going upwards for most of it. So, how does that work? <laughs> I mean, that does not follow the laws of physics physics whatsoever, but then again, this is a Spongebob video game. Not only is it a video game, which they also tend to not follow logic alone, but just think about this. It's a cartoon. It's a video game based off a cartoon that doesn't follow physics. There you go. So stay on the pink the pink hose, and then we can act, might be able to actually do this. Okay. Stay on pink hose, and not hopefully not uh, mess up this... Uh, Challenge here. We should be pretty much golden at this point. Or, oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you are supposed to go on the blue hose. I think I am gonna fail this actually, because I think there's actually even shorter route that you can take here. Okay, I actually don't think I'm gonna make. This. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make this. Let's see. Let's see if I still have a chance of making this. So we got 20 seconds left. 20 seconds to make it to the end of this. Okay, 15 seconds. Uh, let's see if that's enough to make it to the end here. I don't know, it might be close. If I do make it, it's gonna be very, very close, I can tell you that. Um, all right, I guess I did make it, just barely, but I think there's a faster path I could take in there. Congratulations, here's your reward. All right. <laughs> and that, my friends, is all the SpongeBob levels in the entire game. All done. You've come back here looking for more stuff? I'm kind of getting used to the place. Great. Then go ahead and beat your best time. Yeah, who wouldn't get used to this place? I mean, like, think about it. This is practically a lie yeah, compared to the movie because there's sea, sea creatures that are living happily in aquariums. Did you see any sad faces on those, uh, sea... on those, uh... You know, on those sea creatures in there. I don't think so. Anyways, uh, that aside, I'll meet you guys in the next level, which once again is a boss level. And we got plenty of time for it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And so, after escaping the hideous fate that awaited them in the clutches of the Cyclops, SpongeBob and Patrick find themselves standing on the beach, staring out at the vastness of the ocean. How are we going to get back to Bikini Bottom? I can take you there. Who are you? I'm not a lifeguard, but I play one on TV. Hooray! So, uh, where's your boat? Boat? <laughs> Hooray! Nothing can stop us now. Bikini Bottom, here we come! Huh? Unidentified object off the hind quarters! Bigger boot? But how? Did you miss me? Ah! Oh, damn damn it! It! So yes, our next boss level is a rematch against Dennis. Yep, that's pretty much all it is. And pretty much my strategy is exactly the same as last time. Just reflect his moves back at them and you are golden. 
Um, once we get to the... <laughs> oh my god. And yes, you will get, you will be getting some one-liners from David Hasselhoff, although he's not even, it's not even the same actor. Like, there's no reference to... Like, even though it's the, uh... It's supposed to be the same person, it's, uh... I don't really think it is. Like, they make him look different, they make him, in the, you know, in the scene that precedes this level, they also make him look, uh like sound different too, like they have a different voice actor too, so... Been a while since I've had a sponge, bath. sponge bath? Did you just say sponge bath? Okay then, alright. You'd think this would be very painful for him too, because it's getting, like, those weapons he's throwing are literally stabbing his back. Like he's getting stabbed in the back, like every... every three seconds or so, like this is crazy. Okay, so now we got the second one of these, uh, slammers to avoid. Thankfully, we get free uh, manliness points out of it, so it's not that bad. Marco. Yeah, these one, these guys are a little more powerful than the ones in uh, uh, what you call it. Uh, oh God. But, uh, okay, so if you move down to his arms, uh, Dennis can move over to the other, to the arm that you're not on, and uh, and also the same location that you start at. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There's Goofy Goober token number 50. That leaves 18 left in the entire game. And he's sitting right next to me. What the heck? Yay, Patrick! We did it! Hooray for SpongeBob and Patrick! <laughs> now, where were we? Wait, Dennis. Uh, look out behind you. That's it! I'm through messing around! See you later, fools! Huh? Ah! Come on! After many adventures, our heroes arrive back home. But it is a much, much different place from the one they left. Where there once was rolling green fields and bustling city streets, there is now Planktopolis. A city as dark and twisted as the heart of its teeny tiny ruler. All of Bikini Bottom's familiar faces are now covered by unfashionable mind-controlling buckets. And perhaps most horrible of all, King Neptune is at the Krusty Krab too, preparing to fry Mr. Krabs. Bikini Bottom's only hope rests with a small yellow sponge and a pink sea star. Can they survive the dangers of Planktopolis? Ooh, let us hope so.